Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, we're gonna cover our second last store for Newcastle local fish shop crawl, and that one is Rutherford. Okay, so where is pet quarters of Rutherford? Now, if you head north from Sydney and a little bit west, or maybe even northwest from Newcastle itself, you'll see pet quarters of Rutherford, not far from Maitland, which is probably a little bit more known. And you can see, again, we're in a uh, fairly large homemaker center, um, so handy if you're uh, chasing a few things at once and you wanna pop in and uh, have a cheeky look at some corals and fish, you can head on in. And as, of course, like all of the other uh, pet quarter stores, they've got this uh, trademark dog wash there, um, and usually a groomer as well, so that you can uh, pop in and get your uh, dog washed and groomed while you have a look at, uh, you know, all of your reefing uh, requirements. So head into the store, you can see this is a pretty large store here, and uh, to the left, we've got a fairly dominated aquarium section, including that beautiful Red Sea Peninsula tank. And to the right, you've got uh, your cat, dog, bird, things. A lot of Christmas featured items at the moment, as you can imagine. So we'll probably stay fairly clear of the right and we'll head over to the left. And it's hard not to uh, stop in and have a quick look at this uh, Red Sea Reefer Peninsula because, to be honest, this is probably one of the nicest um, display tanks I've seen at the Petcotta stores. Now, I know, I was going to say there's nothing super exotic in there. There is. There's some crazy, ridiculous recordia. But most of the corals in there are fairly... Um, fairly easy or low maintenance, um, and it just works. The, the location of this peninsula tank, um, the scape, everything about it to me just looks really good, and I think it's a fantastic type of reef tank to show uh, people that may be not into aquariums yet. And the last thing you want to do is have someone that's coming in for some dog food and have a look at a um, one-inch long stick and tell them that that's $800. So it's a good beginner-like tank. Um, you can see we've got a huge freezer there of uh, uh, frozen foods, and then you walk straight into a good range of dry goods. So we've got a good assortment of Sitche pumps and wave makers. We've got uh, Paxton algae reactors, huge variety of uh, skimmers. You can see we've got some uh, Mick Mole lights and a couple of water box tanks on display there. Uh, we've got the water box 10 gallon and 15 gallon, nice size tanks. And you can see they also do them there with a full combo with uh, everything you need to get them running, including pumps and etc. Really nice little setup. Um, of course, we can't ignore some uh, freshwater style tanks, but uh, yeah, there's even more reefing ones. There's definitely a good reefing theme in these stores, which I really like to see. You see a Mikmol light on display there, which is cool. We don't often see those on display. And a huge assortment of dry tanks. Um, the team tell me that uh, the more dry tanks they have on display, the more dry tanks they sell. And I guess it makes sense. Of course, over here, we've got uh, the water refill station. They've got a huge uh, number of jugs there. Oh, and there's also what I'll show you there is the uh, water test. So they obviously sell water, but they test the water they're selling. So they tell you what the alkalinity is, the magnesium, salinity, etc., etc. Nice little refill station there so you can self-serve and fill up uh, your drugs that you either buy there or bring in your own with um, RO or artificial salt water. And in fact, we'll check out their artificial salt water setup and RO storage at the back a little bit later in this video. Over this way, we've got um, a good range of accessories. We've got uh, some dry foods, coral essentials, reef revolution, big assortment of quantum, big assortment of aquaforest. We can see some yellow marine glue there. Looks like pretty close to, if not the full range of Red Sea equipment. We've got a lot of uh, glass cleaners there, whether they be mag flips or uh, scraper blades. Over this side, we've got uh, the fish tank TVs, which I think are gonna be a pretty popular item leading into Christmas. We've got a huge assortment of salt there. In fact, a bit of a mountain of salt, really. And then we've got this really uh, unique style uh, coral bay there in the middle. We'll get to that a little bit later. But before we do, let's check out some of the livestock they've got in. We can see this uh, beautiful gold striped maroon there. He's uh, living, loving life in uh, bubble tip there. Uh, nice little tang here. I must admit I've forgotten what type of tang that is. We've got some Australian stripies, which you don't often see in store. They can be cool fish. They can be little pains in the rear, but uh, I guess it depends on the tank you're putting them in. Beautiful little uh, juvenile sail fin there. Got a nice angel. I think there's a cleaner ass there. We've got uh, some snails in that tank, so nothing too exciting. We've got some hermit crabs and a tomato clown. You can see a flame hawk back there. Uh, we got a uh, interesting wrasse there, and it looks like a uh, either a dotty back or um, something else. We got some. Uh, we got it looks like a bicolor a bicolor angel. Uh, you can see there that uh, you can follow the aquariums at Pet Quarters on Facebook. They've got um, one common page there which goes across all of their stores just focusing on aquarium goods so you can see all the livestock they get in as it's getting unboxed highly recommend joining that facebook group if you have not already don't forget the guys do post um, i should say the guys and girls um, they do post so uh, be sure to join that facebook page and keep an eye on the stock they get in you see we got uh looks like a madagascar ras i think and a uh, yellow tang we got some uh, glass cardinals my favorites 
Got some uh, damsels there, which are pretty angry. They've got this cute uh, long nose hawk. Um, let's see what else we got. Stromba snail looks like a, uh, a mimic tang, perhaps. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, this is a not for sale tank. It must be uh, getting medicated, or the fish could already be sold. Uh, we got some black clowns. I can see a Valentini puffer in that tank back there. Got a good little assortment here of Bangai Cardinals. I do love Bangai. Such a uh, different fish. They really mix it up from other fish in your tank. Beautiful rats. Couple of rats there. Uh, what do you got here? We got uh, looks like a six line and some fire gobies. Big lionfish. Just start uh, doing his own thing. Big Picasso. Oh, no, sorry. Not a big Picasso trigger, but a Picasso trigger. He will no doubt get big really soon. And of course, we've got a good assortment of uh, freshwater fish as well, which I'm going to skip over fairly quickly because uh, you know me, I don't want to embarrass myself too much with um, the variety of them here. We've got this, uh, it's, I'm pretty sure I've seen one in every tank now, that uh, beta style tower and then uh, the plant system. You can see a couple of people in washing their dogs already. Um, don't want to embarrass them too much with the camera, but uh, you can see they're doing their thing. Probably got a partner checking out the uh, fish and coral while they're doing that. No, nah, maybe not. Um, and you can see there's a, no shortage of supplies for your other pets there. We've got a um, huge assortment of cat, dog, bird, rabbit, and there's even a turtle tank there. Um, but like I said, a good 40 to 50% of the store is aquarium-related stuff. We've got uh, the glass cabinet with all the uh, Primo gear in there. So we've got the Mick Moles. We've got the uh, Max Spect uh, Bio Blocks. We've got uh, the Red Sea Reef LEDs, AI Primes in both the... Uh, Marine and Fuge. Got the uh, Nero 5 pumps from AI, which is cool. You see a big assortment there of uh, API medications. Uh, we got filter pads. We got some more dry foods from Hikari and New Life Spectrum. Huge assortment, really. Um, taking advantage of the big uh, footprint. We got some canister filters, air stones, heaters, T5s. Um, I like this little bench here, which is used for uh, bagging up fish and corals. Just a neat way of doing things without getting water everywhere, and they can ensure they've got their supplies on hand. I'll just pop uh, the filter on, and we'll have a quick look at these corals. All right, have a look here. Wow, look at the size of that tabling acro, a big pink tabling acro. We've got uh, some super bright uh, chalice there. Uh, what have we got? Some Favias. There's a beautiful one with some yellow through it. Um, looks like we've got uh, we've got some more Favias, Lobos, Favites, I think. We've got uh, Cynarias, we've got Scollies, Trachophilias. You name it, the guys here have got it. A pretty large tank. I'm not sure on the dimensions of this tank, but boy, it fits a lot of coral in. Um, they tell me that they were trying not to stock up too much because uh, we had frag stock coming up this weekend and they were trying not to get too much stock in and then be caught with it after the crowds but um if this is not a huge amount of stock i don't know what is because uh she is filled to the brim so we've got uh, some special morphs up there we've got some cool deshies over there we've got a um, sailfin just making sure there's no algae on any of those pieces the colors are just absolutely singing and the prices here are very reasonable too um, we've got some nice fungus there great little assortment of fungus got um, some wild zoa rocks and we've got some of the uh, salty pets frags as well, which is cool to see because they've always got some fairly primo gear. So that's the uh, main coral bay. I'm sorry for the uh, yellow lights, but uh, I want to, uh, while we've got the filter on, I thought we'd come over and have another look at this Red Sea uh, Reef at Peninsula. And um, why not? We can get a real close look at uh, some of the fishing corals in here now. You can see the uh, clowns hosting in a uh, fluffy morph. It actually suits them. They, they probably think it's a carpet. That's cool. Works well for them. You can see some of those nice recordias. Got a very uh, friendly rabbit fish, as there always is. Uh, yeah, nice assortment of recordias there. Some basic leathers that just look beautiful. Even some xenia on the other side there. Check out those recordias there. They're something a bit special. I know I said the tank didn't have anything too crazy, but uh, yeah, they're fairly crazy. Nice little deshi garden there. We got some other chaos zoas. Some uh, sunny Ds up there, it looks like. I really like the scape in this tank. It's difficult to do a scape in a peninsula, but this one's been done quite well. Uh, cool little Blenny just chilling out down the bottom here, doing his thing. I do like the way these Zoas have just kind of blended in with each other. Um, nothing super exotic in there, but it doesn't need to be. Um, we tend to see Zoa price tags and think, that, think that's what makes them pretty. It's not true. Zoas are pretty, whether they're cheap or expensive. You can even see some green star polyps growing up on the back wall there, which is pretty cool. Of course, we've got a nice big fat uh, six line wrasse. But um, before we finish this video, I just want to take you out the back and show you the style of uh, salt water and uh, RO setups here. So we've got some pretty hardcore RO um, systems here that pump out a huge amount of RO a day. 
the team replaced the filter on those monthly, um, if not more than monthly. And you can see the uh, large RO storage there. And then you'll see some of the tanks that are set up for uh, salt water storage. So I know you only see the tap and the little sort of hole in the wall where you fill your buckets up. But this is the sort of setup that's at the back of each of these stores. And it's quite impressive. So I wanted to share it all with you. But that being said, um, you see there are 5,000 litre tank there and it shows you how much salt they put in to mix it up to get the right salinity. That being said, that's about all I've got time to cover for today. Thank you for watching. If you've got any comments for myself or the uh, Pet Quarters team, be sure to pop it in the comments section down below. If you'd like to make sure you don't miss any more of the Pet Quarters videos or any others in uh, future, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, bye.